Meghan Markle stayed out of the spotlight for the most of the year, but has recently started making public appearances again alongside her husband Prince Harry. The Duchess of Sussex has remained relatively quiet and enjoyed life out of the public eye while Prince Harry went on his promotional book tour for his memoir Spare. After a quiet start to the year, Meghan appears to be back with a bang after signing to a major Hollywood talent agency. Prince Harry is due to make a fleeting trip to the UK for King Charles' coronation next weekend, while Meghan will stay in California with their two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Since Meghan has now returned to the limelight ahead of the coronation, the Mirror reports what's next for the Duchess. Let's take a look. New hairstyle In one of her first public appearances this year Meghan debuted her dramatic new hairstyle. In the weeks leading up to the coronation, Meghan had kept a relatively low profile. Meghan debuted her new look last weekend where she came out in force to support a close friend during a big event. The Duchess beamed as she introduced a TED Talk by her longtime friend and photographer Misson Harriman, who has snapped many photos of her family. Her appearance introducing the talk emerged after Misson posted a photo on Instagram showing Meghan on the big screen, smiling as she spoke. He wrote, The Duchess of Sussex was kind enough to introduce me onto the stage for my a TED thank you for the support Meg. In the photo, Meghan can be seen with her sleek, straight hair cascading over her shoulders while wearing a white top, with the screen indicating her name as Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. Introducing him, Meghan praised Misson's unmatched eye for a good photograph and added, I've experienced his talent firsthand as he has captured many meaningful milestones for me and my family. And I know there are many others who share this experience. Before getting down to the speech, Meghan said, I am so thrilled to welcome to the TED stage, my dear friend Miss and Harriman. Cute date night, but rejected kiss just days after showing off her new look, Meghan and Harry were spotted during in the crowd at an LA Lakers basketball game. The pair could be seen awkwardly laughing when they were caught on the kiss camera at the crypto. Com arena, with Meghan appearing to reject Harry's advances. Despite thousands clapping and cheering, encouraging them to kiss, Meghan seemed reluctant, even as Harry seemingly leaned in for a smooch. Body language expert Judy James said Meghan used a flirty partial barrier gesture to reject Harry's advances. She told the mirror, giggling and flirting together at the basketball, Harry and Meghan's body language last night might just have provided a snapshot of their mood and dynamic prior to the even more public moment on May 6, when Harry will presumably be sitting in solitary isolated and reflective mode at his father's coronation in the UK. These are first date, flirty signals from the couple, who use head closeness and eye engagement to show their levels of bonding. The body language is tactile and even romantic but it also shows Meghan taking the lead in terms of rejecting the offer of a kiss cam kiss that Harry seems more than up for. Meghan's hand-to-mouth movement looks coy and flirty but it also forms a partial barrier in terms of any public snog. She also places her right hand on Harry's arm to keep him in his seat here and Harry does a comedy grimace to the fans to register the fact that his wife has taken the grown-up role in terms of protecting their dignity. It's playful and affectionate signaling but with a hint from Meghan of getting it right in front of the cameras. Hollywood signing After her recent public appearances, it's been revealed that Meghan has signed up to a Hollywood talent agency that has represented major stars including Dwayne Johnson, Adele, and tennis player Serena Williams. Meghan is now on the books of William Morris Endeavour, WME. 
where her team will include Endeavor CEO Ari Emanuel, as well as agents Brad Slater and Jill Smoller. WME will also represent Archul, Prince Harry and Meghan's content creation label. The agency is expected to work with the Duchess on film and TV production, brand partnerships and overall business building, but will not focus on acting. Announcing the news this morning, WME tweeted a photo of a beaming Meghan wearing a black and white off-the-shoulder dress. It wrote, We are honored to announce that WME now represents Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex in all areas. The agency will be focusing on building out her business ventures across multiple facets of the agency and its broader ecosystem, including film and television production brand partnerships and more. Return of the Tig? Ever since Meghan stepped down as a working royal in 2020, fans have speculated whether or not she will bring back her beloved lifestyle blog The Tig. Unfortunately for fans the Duchess shut down her lifestyle blog after she committed to royal life with Prince Harry. It was recently reported that she got official preliminary approval to revive the lifestyle website. The mom of two could also become a kind of agony aunt, according to details filed with the U.S. Trademark and Patent Office. There were also reports that the Duke and Duchess would return to social media, but the rumors were denied by her unofficial biographer. In a column for Yahoo earlier this year, Meghan's biographer and royal expert Omid Scobie says this is all trash. He says that a return to Instagram for Meghan is wishful thinking as a source told him, she has no account on the platform at present or on the horizon. Melting